great place to work from home is welcoming, comfortable and inspires you to accomplish your goals. My name is Marco. In this video, I'll take you through a tour of my workspace and how I built it. I work as a software engineer and aspiring content creator. This is my creative space. It's filled with items that help me plan and record content. However, as a software engineer, I need a clean and organized desk to help me stay focused on writing code. Before we dive into the details of what is on the desk, I'd like to show you a couple of tricks I learned while putting together the desk itself. This is where it all started. The first thing I did is get these wooden legs from IKEA which are pretty sturdy and provide plenty of stability for the desk. I paired them with a used natural wood desk surface also from IKEA. Spending a lot of money is not the only way to make things look nice. This one had a couple of marks and scratches on it, but since it's not lacquered, I used sandpaper to even out the surface and remove most of the imperfections. Overall, it is very stable and doesn't wobble or bend, which gave me plenty of confidence to mount everything else to it later. I already had this grey chair from IKEA from my old setup, so I reused it to save some money. It's not the most ergonomic piece of furniture ever created, but it does recline. It's kind of firm for my taste and this is something I'd be looking to upgrade in the future since I do end up spending quite some time sitting at the desk. I highly recommend putting the chair on a carpet to avoid damaging the floor as you roll around. As I have most of my work stored digitally, I chose not to add storage bins, drawers or overhang sections. This helps keep the whole setup clean both figuratively and literally because there are fewer surfaces that collect dust over time. If you can only do one thing to improve your desk setup, I would recommend investing in cable management. It's by far the cheapest part of the setup and I feel like it makes the most notable difference. People often have one of these basket looking cable holders, but it just looks a bit messy to me. So, I found this solid metal tray on Amazon for pretty much the same price and I love how it completely hides all the cables which looks much tinier. I glued it to the underside of the desk using this double sided sticky tape. This is some mighty stuff, it sticks to wood, metal and even wall surfaces. Just make sure to push out all the bubbles as you go. I used a tiny bit to attach the extension cable inside the metal holder so it doesn't move around while plugging in various power adapters. Once you have the cables under control, the next thing I would recommend is to get one of these LED light strips. Not only do they look very modern, but they also help relieve eye strain from looking at the screen for long. They look stunning at night and sometimes I have them as the only light in the room. I find that a subtle orange glow gives the whole space a very calming and cozy atmosphere. It helps me unwind at night with a cup of tea, read, write and reflect on the day. I got this monitor arm from Amazon. It's one of the generic ones in the $50 range. It helps the desk look a lot tidier, mainly because it organizes the cables. Pro tip, put a sticky pad on the back of the arm so it doesn't hit the wall as you make adjustments and make sure to tighten it well. I use the cloth to make it easier with the Allen wrench. Overall, I wouldn't say I'm too happy with this monitor arm. If I were to get a new one, I'd look for something sturdier to better support the monitor's weight. I still use this 32 inch 4K monitor from Samsung that I got last year. It has surprisingly good picture quality for the price and excellent sharpness which is vital for my coding work. The color accuracy is approaching some professional grade monitors and this is critical for video production. However, the relatively low price comes with a few downsides. It doesn't have a visa mount so I needed to buy an adapter and the factory color settings are wonky so initially I needed to make some small corrections. I put one LED strip around the back side of the monitor which casts a lovely glow on the wall. However, even with this additional light, I found that it's not enough for reading in the evening. This is why opposite the window I put this minimalistic white lamp. The design is purely functional you could say. There isn't a single button because it's controlled by touch. 
wooden detail at the top matches well the surface of the desk. By far, my favorite piece of the entire setup is the levitating cactus plant. It reminds me that technology and nature can exist in harmony. The way it effortlessly rotates while floating in mid-air is very captivating. Almost everyone I know has asked me about it. The base doesn't come white out of the box, so I got some spray paint and painted it on my balcony. To be honest, I was very excited to do this kind of handiwork myself. It didn't go as planned though, it started raining as I began painting, and the water droplets created a few bubbles underneath the paint. I panicked a bit and rushed inside to wipe everything. On the second try, I did a better job, but the coat of paint is still not perfect. I decided to leave it be and I made up this excuse that it somehow adds to the character. They say that sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Would you agree? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching.